Satan send us is just look at them here. This document is a medium term expenditure framework and fiscal strategy paper. The president is uh, trying to do a strategy that we target some point of achievement in the next two to three years. So the plan and they bring to us mm -hmm. to, to act for approval, which we already approved it. But the prime members uh, give their own advice because we have economists among us, we have accountants, mm -hmm. we have engineers, different varieties uh, of people that they have experience in different fields. So what, uh, what my observation is, there is certain project in the paper which if implemented, Nigerian people will really see change. But the only problem is the implementation. Because if you look at the budget that uh, already passed, some of the budget never implemented, implemented even 40%. Because there is no money to implement the budget. But what I observe, the president is trying his best to infrastructure development of this country. And uh, he's trying his best to see we tackle corruption. But I came very late when already the debate has finished. But my own observation is we have to strategize how a common man will feel relief in the government. You cannot go and build a road post school while people are living with hunger. You cannot eradicate crimes while people remain unemployed. You cannot do any strategy if you never come with a plan that any graduate has a sense to do after graduation or has an some allowances that they will keep themselves before getting a job. Look at an example now, what is happening. You can see different crimes committed by graduate because you spend six years in primary school, five years or six years in secondary school. You go to university, spend four years, which is 16 years. Since you never know yourself as a small boy, you grow to young level. That time, you, you have ambitions to get a house, to get a married, or if you are a woman, to marry, to get how we are going to survive. So as far as you remain 10 years jobless, you will definitely be in prostration. So anything 
that will bring you money you can easily go on it because before you are not a criminal you go to school you learn you do instead of government to find a job for you they leave you jobless and you have nothing to feed yourself to clothe yourself most especially if your parents are dead or they, 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 they are poor so government supposed to bring a strategy that each and every graduate or jobless people to create jobs or even this farming that they are introducing let them clear this forest allocate the money to clear this forest imported a mechanized farming machines in each and every seat of our geopolitical zone or each and every state. Collaborate, federal government to collaborate with the state government to take each and every state to take like 2,000 or 3,000 or 5,000 youth to take them to that place to give them, give them land give them everything, then you send them a professionals to teach them how to do that farm. They will be busy in that farming, they will not go and commit crimes. Gradually, they will get, they will get capitals, or among of them, some gradually they will get job, but they remain busy, so you will see the crime will reduce in the society. We have for years. It's like tomorrow in the hand of God. If you bring policies that you cannot finish implementing it in four years, at the end of the time, you will bring the policies. The policies will make people in a hard situation, hardship. Then you never implement it to the level of that people will understand where you are heading. You will finish your tenure, they suffer, and you never implement that thing. At the end, they will complain during your time, they suffer. They don't care with your planning of tomorrow, because you cannot give an excuse to stomach. Stomach must eat. So I intend to contribute because the only way that the government will help Nigerian people, not only in the infrastructure, you can go even without the road, but you cannot go without it. You have to eat. You cannot go without security. This security challenges we are facing is lack of employment. 60 to 70 percent the problem of insecurity is lack of employment. Because you can see many arrested armed robbers. Most of them are graduates. They are graduate. So the, we are supposed to allocate a money. The government must allocate the money that we will create a vocational centers in each and every our learning institution. If students are studying medicine or are studying engineering or are studying administration, then you should get time to teach him a practical work that immediately he graduated before he get a job, he learn business to do. Because I can see in some development countries, 
they teach student business and works. You can learn English, but later you can go and train plumbing. You can learn, you can study arithmetic and go to learn how to do punishes. You can study engineering and you go to learn how to do a suspended ceiling and the VOG ceiling. You can learn engineering and go to PAM to know how to do a panel. So if in our learning institution we can teach students theoretically and take them to a training center and teach them practical work. Government can introduce capital for that purposes. The most you graduated, say, okay, come student. You graduated now in the university. You collected your papers. But you are too many. We are employing people gradually. But instead of you to stay jobless, we, you already teach you how to do plumbing. Take plumbing materials. Take small capital. Then the government will tell the contractors and other business people to consider that type of people and put it in a contract rules so that you can take a carpenter from those students, you can take a plumber, you can take a painter, you can take somebody who will do a ceiling we will eradicate poverty because we are the, the population of Nigeria in the next 10 years it will double. And this crime you see people are doing, they never start if we continue without job. Because all what is, you see now people are doing in a criminal way, we just see it before in a, in a film. We never know how to commit all these crimes, kidnapping, suicide. We see it in the film before. But now our people are doing it. So the, if you consider the time we are seeing that thing in a film, now how many years the thing become reality? We are practicing it here, yeah, practically. So look at the future. Before what we see in the film become reality today. So what is reality today? It will increase to the different levels. So this, the government has a good intention, came with different field to assist people in terms of uh, empower, in terms of uh, uh, infrastructures, but right from the beginning, of the agencies of government, there are some agencies of government spending money, they are doing nothing. If we are allocating that money to train our people to do business, it's better than to allocate to that ministry. Because it has nothing to play that will benefit a common man. A democratic government, the, all the advantage of democratic government, all the importance of the democratic government is for a common man to get relief in his life. That is the advantage of the democratic government. That is why people will elect their leaders by themselves and they will select the people that they have confidence in them because all the taxpayers money belong to all everybody mm -hmm. so if you look at the money we are allocating to the ministries 
what are they doing that ministers for the benefit of human beings? They are doing work in papers, spending money in papers, leaving people in poverty. Instead of even to get them relief, they are bringing policies that are making our people in a difficult situation. An example, go and see the CBN budget. The CBN budget is 420 billion. They are spending 1.3 billion daily, including Saturday and Sunday throughout 360 days a year. Because when you divide by 420 billion by 360 days, it will give you 1.3 billion daily. What are they producing? What are they producing? What is, what is, are they doing which is benefited common man in the village or in the town, both in the rural and urban areas? Government allocated 420 billion to them. That 440 billion, how many people in Nigeria that money will assist and how many people you will build with that money? It's a millions of people. So government are spending money unnecessarily in different places. And that is why we are suffering. And that is why we are saying we lack of money. And the majority of this money, you see this now, mm. President comes with a good intention. But the majority of the allocated money here maybe will finish between contractors and officials and government officials. Hmm. Only 10 to 20 percent of the money will go to the common hmm. Between contractors and the government officials. Only 10 to 20 percent of the money will go to common man. Can this money be controlled by government? Instead of giving them that particular percentage of money, can't you slash it since you know that they 